Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I am Diamond76. I had been working on a project um, with these bookshelves, and I do now have them complete. Um, that is if I don't change anything else. And what I'm going to do is show you what I did add to the bookshelves um, to complete them. And first, let me say that um, this piece right here in the middle, um, it does stand up like that. But I just laid it down on the side um, because I wanted um, a focal point in the middle. And what I did was I took this bookshelf that is like that and I just stood it straight completely up. And then I placed it on top of a smaller cube uh, bookshelf and um i and i and the drawers were already in there and everything and i just wanted to make it look like a almost like a semi built in but without the contractors coming in and the big price um but these are finished and i don't want to make this video too long so let me get straight into what i did do starting at the top i added a flower um, and I put it on top of a ceramic, uh, kind of like a cake plate, um, just to give the flower some height. And I do have a puck light behind there. And the phone, for some odd reason, is not picking up. It is a little bit brighter, but I just wanted to give the, uh, the enhancement of a light that is behind there. And, um, what I did was I added some jewelry that I already had and it's just costume jewelry. And I just added a picture frame. I added a pineapple, um, and a jewelry case that I already had. And what I did was I took this, um, pink flowery cake plate and I just laid some jewelry on top of it. Um, again, it's just... My finger is in a way. It is just uh, costume jewelry. And I added these right here that I picked up from New York and Company. Um, there is just a uh, compact with a mirror in it. And this one is the same thing as well. And I added a, a rose gold uh, K for my last name back there. And I added a smaller plant that I got from TJ Maxx as well on top of a mirrored uh, jewelry box and I took this one and I just stood it up on the side and it says I love you and I thought that was really cute um for this um uh, for this uh for the shelving unit it well it is a cubicle but it's a shelving unit and um i thought it would be really cute when i added them on top and i think the drawers in here made it pop a little bit more i do have my uh, my paint roller still right there and you can see my vacuum cleaner i do still have my drill right there um and i just stuck that mirrored uh tray in there for right now um i just wanted to go ahead and just show you the finished look so i just kind of you know just put what in put what i <clears throat> put stuff in it to see what i like and what i don't like now as for this middle piece right here i did add in a lamp i still haven't gotten the pictures yet and i'm still going to uh let me move back just a little i'm still going to hang those up and um <clears throat> hopefully that will you know make it look a little bit better because I don't want it too cluttered. Now, what I did was my main focal point for this room was this flower right here. It has pink in it. It has green in it. And it has white in it. And the reason why I chose this type of flower, and I did get this from, I think, TJ Maxx or Burlington Coat Factory, I'm not sure, and I, I can't remember, but anyway, now, what I want to do is I want to ask you for your opinion, I do want to put candles up here, but I'm not sure which of the three that I want to put up here, now, I do have the silver mercury uh, votives right here, 
And I also have these bling blingy ones right here with the um, like the little crystal diamonds on it, glass diamonds, glass crystal on it. And I do have these blue ones right here um, that are just sitting on top of the silver uh, candle holders. And I wasn't quite sure which ones that I wanted to leave up here now. The flower um, was supposed to go with this because it has the yellow, the green, and the white in it. And that's the reason why I chose the flower. But I'm not sure if the flower is big enough. Um, but I wanted this area to be as neutral as possible. Now, out of all of these three um, candle votives, please let me know which one you like the most. Uh, because I wasn't quite sure which ones that I liked it. I think these are too small. Um, these may be the perfect size. And these right here, I'm not sure if they are, you know, the perfect size to put right here or not. But I did anyway. Um, but let me know which ones that you think that you like the most. And on this side right here, I added this kind of uh, branchy looking bowl right there that is silver. I added the hearts right there. And right here, I just put in a, a, a picture frame that you've probably seen before on my desk. And I do have this mirrored uh, jewelry box. I have two of them. One is smaller, one is bigger. And I did add a uh, another flower, but this one is just plain white. And I got that from TJ Maxx. And I think I got this one from Burlington Coat Factory. And right here... I have a wire, silver wire basket that has rose gold handles. And I do have um, these uh, planners from Erin Conjuring. This one is silver, but this one is rose gold and this one is pink. Just to go along with the colors that I do have in the room. And I did throw in some blue right here. And I think I got these from, yes, TJ Maxx as well. And I'm not sure if I want to add a little flower in these two bottles right here or not. I added another pineapple on top of another glass mirrored jewelry box. Another basket that is a little bit smaller than this one. And um, it is silver as well. And I just added in my notebooks right there. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to have to move back so you can get a better view of it. Because really mainly what I wanted to do was I wanted to add in all of the colors that I have in these notebooks and in this uh, flower that I DIY in this flower right here. I just wanted to... Um, you know, add a little bit of color, but just neutral colors. And I'm walking around my desk right now. And I hope that you can see. Um, I did add in a puck light back there and a puck light right there. You can see that one a little bit better because the flower over here is blocking this one. But I may just take the ceramic uh, cake plate out. Um, and just leave the flower, just leave the flower in there. But I felt like it needed something, uh, because the bowl over here is so big. But this is how I chose to decorate, um, this, uh, semi, hmm, semi built in. And I did, oh, and I did, like I said, I did add the rose gold on this side, uh, from the handle, so I added the rose gold K in here as well. But this is the finished bookshelf, and um, please let me know what. You okay, I just got cut off because I just received um, an alert, 
and I do apologize about that. But to finish this video, please let me know what do you think about the candle photos and which ones that you do like. And I hope that this gives you some some ideas and inspire you. Um, like I said, with these bookshelves, you can do whatever you want to. You can put uh, collectibles in them. You can put pocketbooks in them. You can put books in them. You can put whatever you are into or whatever you you want to put in them um, for you and these are the things that I chose because when I come into this room I just want it to look more uh, like a beauty room or uh, just you know just look more um, organized is what I'm trying to say but I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, and these, again, are the finished bookshelves that I did decide to do. And I really appreciate and thank everyone that did watch my first video on me uh, just getting them up. Um, I do appreciate that. And again, my name is Diamond76. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I do have a lookbook um, that is coming up too. And I got to get ready, get ready for that one. I still do that. <laughs> but I just wanted to take some time out to try to improve my home a little bit more as well. Uh, because that's very important. And um, I do have a, uh, once I finish with my bedroom, I have that uh, coming up as well. And um, again, thank you for watching my video. And everyone, please have a good day and thank you.